Good morning, Level 2 student. What would you like to talk about today? Good morning. I am confused about viral hepatitis. Would you please help me with that? Yes. Tell me what you know and I will help you with that information. Oh, darn. I forgot from last semester. You won't just tell me. I have to think for myself. That is an important part of the learning process. Begin by telling me what you think causes hepatitis. Okay, let me think. Well, if I party too much on the weekend, if I have too many party favors, I guess that could cause hepatitis. Now I am nervous about my weekend activities. You are correct. Long-term alcohol and drug use will cause hepatitis. But you are a nursing student. You got an A on the PITA test. I cannot believe you party that hearty. Anyway, there is a more common cause of hepatitis. Now I remember. The most common cause of hepatitis is a virus. There are different viruses I think. There is hepatitis A, B, C, D, E, F and G. Wow that is a lot of liver damage. Well, people do not usually have all the types at one time. Let me give you a little quiz on the major types. Oh no not a patho quiz. Just the thought makes my blood run cold. <gasps> e. E relax. This is to help you learn. Now which kind is transmitted through the fecal oral route? This is the kind you worry about at some of those cheap casino buffets. I know, I know. This is an easy one. That is type A. If you have to get hepatitis, this is the best one to get. You do not get liver cancer, you do not get chronic hepatitis, and it is easy to prevent with hand washing. Yes, you need to watch out for the buffet, shellfish can carry it. But also in crowded places like nursing homes and prisons. Good job, level 2 student. Although I am not sure I would want to have any hepatitis now give me some information about one that can be transmitted through contaminated blood products. Oh, oh, oh there are actually two that fit the description. Those are hepatitis B and hepatitis C. Dirty needles and bodily fluids are both ways these can be transmitted from one person to another. These are bad, bad liver diseases. Both can lead to liver failure and liver cancer. We have a vaccine for hepatitis B but not for hepatitis C. You are right on track with your information. Now finish up with a summary of the remaining types of viral hepatitis. Well, there is D which usually combines with B. It cannot survive on its own. It is transmitted via blood and bodily fluids. Then there is E. We do not see it much in this country. It is found in developing countries like Africa, India and Mexico. Americans can get it from contaminated water if they travel to those countries. It is spread through the fecal oral route. There is F but that is maybe. It has been seen in monkeys but not in people. Finally, G may be related to C but people get a much milder case of hepatitis. It does not seem to cause liver disease or cirrhosis. Wow. I know a whole lot more than I thought I did. Now about my grade for this quiz. I am not surprised. I know how much you study. As for that grade, 